retainer in. All right, hi, and welcome back. Attorney Steve Vondran, and in this video, we're talking about pro bono. You may have heard that word before, maybe you haven't. Pro bono, this is a word that comes up in law. And for new lawyers, there is not a requirement of pro bono, but there is a, a guideline, or I should say a professional rule of conduct that says you should definitely consider and try to do pro bono, at least in California, Arizona, the states where I practice. So it's not necessarily something you have to do, but it's something that, let's face it, let's give back to the profession. So this is something that I came across that I thought was pretty cool. And it's also, if you're a litigant out there and you're in a federal court and you, you have a case, but you just don't have the money to hire an attorney, you just can't find the right attorney, there are certain people who sign up and you can actually you can actually seek out and try to retain pro bono counsel. So that's somebody that would work for free, no charge. Okay. So here's what I found today on the university, or not the university, the Northern District of California website. This is called the Federal Pro Bono Project. It's pretty cool. And what this is saying, basically, pro bono representation of parties to cases who are unable to afford an attorney. And now this is in civil case. Now realize in criminal cases, if you can't afford an attorney, everybody has a right to the public defender. So um, to a legal defense, that's just by law. Everybody has a right to be represented by counsel in a criminal case. That's not true in a civil case. So this is a pretty neat thing. If you're in an area, you can't find an attorney, check with the federal court, ask if they have a pro bono program or a pro bono project, okay? So this is federal court. And as this says right here, if you read down a little bit in it, as you can see here, we'll start here. You can include all kinds of different cases, employment discrimination, police misconduct, foreclosure, uh, could be a copyright infringement case, could be trademark infringement, whatever the case may be, civil rights, First Amendment free speech, those kinds of things. Um, but here you are, you come look, and um, it says here for the attorneys, and the new attorneys, this may be a great way to break into the field. So you're saying, well, I don't have any business. I want to get into federal court, but I don't know how. Here, it, the courts can reimburse your costs. Now, that's different from attorney fees, but they can reimburse your costs up to $15,000. That's pretty nice. Um, but it also says here, and we have this right here, um, that, let's go right here, pro bono counsel may recover attorney fees awards. That's where you put in your time, get your attorney fee awards to the plaintiff as the prevailing party or as part of a negotiated settlement of the case. So if you're representing someone as a plaintiff pro bono, you're free to negotiate. Um, you're, if you are working against the defendant, you're free to say, well, I want, we want to settle the case for $100,000 and... I need twenty-five thousand for my attorney fees, or whatever, whatever they are. Could be less, could be more, um, but there's no prohibition against you negotiating it as part of a settlement of the case. So this is just a nice little tip. Um, again, new attorneys, you say, "I don't have any business. How do I get going? How do I how do I get started?" This is a real neat thing to look into. So this one is for San Francisco and the Oakland division, but check in your federal court. You may find something that would be good for you, okay? If you need a federal court lawyer, we do, we do pro bono cases, but if, you know because of our caseload, we do a limited number of pro bono cases. So, But if you need more information, you can find us on the web at attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com, the first name in legal services. We'll be back, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you know somebody new to the law, feel free to share it with them. Help them out. Maybe you could make, make a big difference in their life, perhaps change their life. So this is one way to get into federal court. All right. Take care now. Hope you're having a great evening. Bye.